The news has just broken here. Cricket Australia has confirmed that Philip Hughes has unfortunately lost his battle after being struck in the head by that bouncer a couple of days ago. He typifies, I think, what it, what it means to represent his country in cricket. You know, from real bushy to, to baggy green. And look, the last thing that he would have been thinking of, I can imagine, is yummy, I'm going to hit this ball out of the ground. You know, a short ball, got in great position, and that would have been his last thought, thinking, yummy, I can hit a boundary here, and he would have loved that. Goes in the air, it's going out the ground, what a way! What a way to get to your first Test 100! Philip Hughes and just his second Test, and warm applause, not only from the Australian dressing room, but from all in at Kingsmead. Very tough day for the, the cricket community. Thoughts go out to, to Phil's uh, family and friends. Certainly when something like this happens, it, it does bring the sporting community together. Don't change for you. Don't change for me. It's in the air and it's gone through the gap. It's all the way to the boundary for four. A marvellous achievement by Philip Hughes. Philip Hughes has become the youngest batsman in Test history to score a century in each innings of a match. Matty Hayden, welcome to the grill team, mate. He's a proper, proper chap, as I say. Um, just loves cricket for the right reason. Always flies under the radar. You, you'll never see him making a big fuss of things. And a very, very good cricketer. And, and, and look, going through the highs and lows of, of a professional sporting career, the scrutiny of no performance, the scrutiny when there's a massive performance. But he would trade it all in tomorrow and probably want to do it all over again. That's what sport in this country is all about. Don't change for you. Don't change a thing for me. Ball and driven. That's quite dry. We'll certainly fetch him a couple. Congratulations to Phil Hughes. It's been a long time coming, two and a half years, and that double will get Phil Hughes to his century. Well played. The boss of Cricket Australia, James Sutherland. The incident has sort of galvanised people in, in terms of support, and, and not just here in Australia, mm. uh, all over the world. I, I'd have 30 messages from cricket people all, all over the world just uh, overnight direct to me asking me to pass on thoughts and prayers for his family. He's highly, highly respected. He's, he's a great mate of so many people in Australian cricket and around around the world and the, and the guys in, in Shield cricket who are playing other games in uh, in Brisbane and Melbourne. We received my baggy green off Ricky Ponting in the morning of the first game. You know, it was unbelievable and uh, I was actually shaking. A good close mate of Phil Hughes, Shane Warne. Yeah, obviously it's a tough situation for everyone, for the cricket family. It's been a, a real shock. All our best wishes from everyone that likes their sport and especially the cricket family. Spoke to a lot of the guys from all different countries. A lot of the English players over here, a lot of South Africans, just a lot of people just saying, please pass on the best. He was a classic example of his country upbringing. Humble, understated and hardworking. When the chips were down or he had a setback, he simply got on with the job and worked harder. He set a wonderful example to any young person seeking to make their way in life. Don't 